Hey, how is it going? Last time we discussed uh, some fermented food. And we made the uh, pickled cabbage. Basically, you can do like a lot of different kinds of pickled vegetables. You can do some like, uh, let's say, Asian style, like with some Korean spices, but usually quite spicy and so on. So what about some Russian traditional one? Make uh, pickled fermented cucumbers. So basically you can do it uh, with a big one, depending on what you have. So you can cut on the small slices and put everything in the can. I do it in a uh, big can, but it's a metal one. It's not really convenient to give a demonstration. So I'll make you with a small one, just for give you the idea. So everything wash it up, we'll put it inside. So usually on, I have a glass one with a three liters. I put it one tablespoon of salt. That's it. Or you can do the small, really cute and tasty cucumbers. And yeah, you can store it for quite a long time. So compared to... Okay. Compared to marinated food, I try to put it more. Uh, naturally pickled one is natural. And fermentation, the bacteria uh, will convert all of the carbs and cellulose into amino acids and proteins, what make ingredients uh, way different. Then we put some clean water. If you have distilled water, it's just fine. And we cover it all. Then we can add some garlic. We can add any kind of uh, greens you like, whatever. I make it simple. Some people like to add uh, vinegar or some uh, lemon acid, whatever, sugar for make more rich taste. I don't use anything of that. Yeah. Uh, for the three liters, I said I use one tablespoon of salt. So here, just for demonstration, we can use just a teaspoon, just a little bit. Yeah, salt is the best preservative. Also cranberry berries and also you can use a lot of different kind of uh, herbs and grasses uh, for the natural way of preservatives, let's say. So, uh, if you do some marinated food, so usually you put hot water on it and add salt and close it up and can store it like maybe one year, it's quite good. But uh, when it goes through the hot process, basically you kill and destroy all the vitamins and ferments in there, what we try to avoid. But still, it's not that bad compared to the food you can buy somewhere uh, in a store, what full of chemicals and so on. Basically that's it. And we will leave it in a cold place in a basement somewhere or maybe in a fridge for the two, three days. In two, three days it will change the color. So it will be like a little bit uh, crunchy, let's say, and it became more yellow and water it get like uh, a bit dirty. So it doesn't matter, you can leave it like that and it will be ready to eat in a three, four days. Um, if you wanna marinate it, yeah. You can heat it up and get up to 90 degrees to kill all of the bacteria and close it up to be marinated. So basically for now, that's it. We'll be ready in three, four days. Super simple. And you can try with big variety of different kind of food. And yeah, stay tuned. Later on will be more cool and healthy recipe. If you like the video, you know what to do.